Hello, how are we all doing? It is the first day in the new house slash Ryan's house slash not really the new house but a different house and new to some of you because the last time we were in this house was quite a while ago now. It has taken me longer than I care to admit today to locate my hairbrush and I have still unpacked a grand total of zero things that are not skincare and makeup. But what I did do today was go to the house. Ryan is working there today and also we just needed to go there and like accept deliveries and stuff. I did think our bathroom suite was coming today but apparently not. That's now coming tomorrow so I will need to do a trip to the house tomorrow. I have gone and had my nails done for a little content project that I'm working on at the moment. I just didn't want to do my right hand with my left hand so I went to Ella because it saves me about three hours because it takes me literally like a good two hours at the very least to do anything on this hand with my left hand. My left hand is just, it's a useless hand really. Like my right hand is very, very, very dominant. Sadly, I was not the sibling that was gifted the ambidextrous abilities. My brother got that one. It really isn't very fair. I wasn't really gifted much. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, that feels better. Oh, I'm through the whole day without having brushed my hair. So that's what I've been up to so far today. I've done a little bit of work, but as you can see, the house is still a very blank slate. I look like I am in an episode of The Sims or something. We have got like a whole wardrobe to fill. Ryan has let me have this wardrobe. He'll take the identical one, but in a different room. This one just faces the right way. It's got the good light. We love that. It's also a little bit noisy in this room, but I'll be sweating if I shut the window because it is so warm today and i have to say i'm just not used to living in a house like the upstairs if you have an upstairs in the uk it just gets so warm and in the uk we do not have aircon which lots of you from other countries are shocked to find out whenever there's the mention of houses getting hot they're just like just turn your aircon on and it's like oh oh if i could it's also extortionate to install so it's not happening but anyway i think i'm gonna unpack my stuff into the wardrobe this house needs girl energy it needs big girl energy that is what we're going to be adding to it this week i'm going to go i think when i go back to the house tomorrow i'm going to get some more bits that are normally styled up in my home but i'm going to bring them here just to kind of like i have never really like settled into this house and i know we're here for three weeks and to a lot of people that's not a very long time but i just find like when i was here previously i would come here for like a break i would come here to not work because there was never any of my stuff here as you can see it's a very blank canvas as i obviously just said the house has big boy energy like this house is owned by ryan and then previous to that was owned by another man solo so it just has no girl energy in it and it hasn't had girl energy in it for a long time so we are going to inject bg big girl energy so i'm gonna bring some of my bits here just so i can feel like i'm in a space that is mine and i can like just get some work done which sounds so dumb if you're not a content creator but if you're not in your space as a content creator in a space that you can't make your own like my friend that was living here she found it super hard to work in because it just she didn't like unpack anything and it just wasn't a space that she was able to like put her own stamp on and she found it really difficult and i completely understand that because i have the exact same issue so i don't want to spend another three weeks because i've already spent three weeks of the reno trying like to just work on the weekends i'm not working like that anymore we are going to get back on track we are going to be making content we are going to be doing the most and in order to do that i really need to like make this space a girl zone you know so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to grab my things i am going to stay not in aesthetically pleasing clothing though today because i just i'm not changing i can't be bothered i still need to walk the dog and just do loads of like cleaning and stuff so i am going to stay looking like a little bit slobby okay nearly tripped over you come here Can I say hi you're loving it here aren't you Some windows to look out of so yeah anyway that is what we are going to be doing today i'm going to do this in a bit but i'm going to also rejig the bed a little bit because the grey the grey pillows are upsetting me. It's real like boy bedding, you know? So I bought my own duvet. So at least we've got that. But we need to add some like girl vibes to the bed. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, somewhere in these boxes is my bedding. Stunning. Ooh. What do we think? So we've got this or go for this. Or we have matching. What do we think? 
I mean, she sat by the stripes, so... I'm thinking maybe she likes the stripes. Do you like the stripes? Okay, we only have one of these. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Shrimpy? We're gonna go matching for now, and then I'm gonna ask Ryan to find another pillowcase before he comes back. Okay, get rid of these. Found my other pillowcase. Okay, we are getting there. It looks really nice. I actually, these wardrobes are incredibly impractical, but in terms of like, just from a styling, very bougie perspective, they're really, really fun to play about with. If you've got like things that you can make the shelves look nice with. Like one of my friends I think has something like this and she's done like less bags, more like cute aesthetic book things and stuff like that. These are just, they're just really fun shelves that you can play about with a lot. Like Ryan used to put like kind of vintagey cameras and things like that on them and like musicy bits music -y bits, the technical term, music stuff that looked aesthetic and like vinyls and stuff like that. My aesthetic is very, very different. God, it's so hot in this house. Shout out to everyone that has houses because I don't know how you guys are surviving the summer. Yeah, very happy with it. Looks cute. I will be stealing a rail off Ryan though because there's no space for like longer dresses and I did bring a few. So I'm gonna be stealing his rail, which he is fine with because he's not using it. Excuse the noise, it's very noisy here. But anyway, we have got shoes. I haven't unpacked my shoes, but they'll be down here. I don't think I brought any like really cute pairs of shoes that I will display, but I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind. Yeah, shoes I think are gonna go right down the bottom where they belong. This little cubby hole, we normally put a little bed for Nala in, so I've kind of left that there. But it's also a great nook for winter boots. Sadly, I've never been able to use it for that because we were in lockdown when I kind of stayed here a lot and that we weren't going anywhere. Yeah, the majority of my bags are just like down here and then we've just got a few of my favourites around the main kind of bit of the wardrobe. Yeah, it's really cute. Very happy with that. Also, it's very satisfying that there is a whole like nook big enough for my YSL care tote because I don't have space for this at home. It normally just hangs on a door handle. It's really, really satisfying having an actual little hole for it to go in. I didn't build that into my wardrobe because I didn't have it at the time and would have been slightly impractical too, but there we go. Lovely. But yeah, now I'm gonna go on a little dog walk and then pop in and see my family. So that is probably gonna be all the organizing there is for this evening, but I will be back with you tomorrow for round two of big girl energy going into this house. The more I look at it, the more these bedside tables need something. Like it's so, I love like the all white everything aesthetic, but look at it. It doesn't look real. If you thought my house was all white everything, this house is like the step up from that. It's it's crazy. Yeah, really beautiful because like the light in this house is just stunning. It's like, it's absolutely gorgeous. So can't complain. Hello everybody. Today has not been a good day. It is nearly 2 p.m. I have cried twice. Still have no makeup on. I have got nothing done today. I really thought in moving out of my house that i might be able to get like five minutes to get something done but apparently not i won't bore you with the real ins and outs of today because honestly it's such a joke the amount of time that of mine that is being wasted right now is just phenomenal on top of that i don't know where anything is i have just spent so long trying to find my batteries i charged the load because i knew i wouldn't be able to find my battery charger for a little while in amongst all of the stuff that i packed so i charged the load did i remember where i put them absolutely not and then i also couldn't find my battery charger and then i realized it was still at home so i have been to my house twice today i waited at my house this morning for a delivery that was just never coming my bathroom is just not turning up i think i'm having a breakdown <laughs> I'm starting to realize when I speak to people and they're like, oh, it's it's all going really quickly. Wow, you're already nearly there. Like, wow, how is that possible? Like most loft conversions take X amount of time. I realized today why it's actually able to progress. And it's basically because I have not 
really been able to work properly for the best part of a month now because I am constantly needed at my house for something and I was talking to Ryan earlier this is real like you don't need to be hearing this but I actually need to rant to someone I asked Ryan to do just like a couple of bits like if the bathroom arrives please do this and please do this and I could see him in his head thinking well like I need to work and that's fine that's not on him like as you should but then that made me realize how much I've been doing every single day and this is why I'm not getting anything done work-wise because every single day I'm like well this needs to be done and that needs to be done and then this needs to be done and you know when this arrives it needs to be checked and I was suddenly like this is why this renovation has been going to plan because my job has been reno also I was locked outside my house another detail that I won't bore you with like the ins and outs of but I was locked out my house but still waiting for my bathroom to turn up and whilst I was waiting for my bathroom to turn up a different delivery that I didn't know about turned up and I was thinking what would have happened if I wasn't in and if we just hadn't been living in this house the entire time this renovation had been happening what would have happened to that delivery who would have accepted that yeah I just am kind of I think I realized today how much I have been doing and how much my job really has just been reno for the best part of a month and how fed up of it I now am because all I want to do is get back onto like a two video a month schedule and make some TikToks and just read through my brand briefs and just I was doing that on my doorstep and you know when you're just like what is my life like this is so dumb like how have I got into this situation I'm literally reading through briefs on my doorstep because this is the only time that I'm actually getting uninterrupted I just need to breathe so I have finally got a battery charger and I found a battery in my car thank you the universe literally just was like here's a battery honey i've put on a nice dress i am going to try and disguise my greasy hair all i really want is a pamper day i need a hair mask i need to wash my hair i want to put on some tan i just want to feel nice i want to try out my new ipl device because your girl is sick of shaving and i just want to have a nice uninterrupted five minutes with my dog who is currently lying on the floor because it's boiling in here by the way if i start getting like a sweaty stash it's because we've had to shut the windows because ryan's area is really loud if i'm sweating that's why and the dog's currently just like lying on the floor hating life i'm so sorry babes i i need a moment but i don't need a moment i don't want a moment i don't want to have more time being unproductive i just I want to know where all my things are i want to not be crying on a Wednesday morning. Is it even a Wednesday? I want to know what day it is. I also want time to make some lunch. I was meant to literally go to my house, drop Brian to his hair appointment. Why do boys have their hair cut every five minutes? It's honestly, it's too much. And then I was going to come home. I was just gonna grab something from the house. But yeah, the long and short is I'm done. I'm over it. I might just tell Ryan that his job is Renault from now on. Do we think that will go down well? That's been my day so far in a nutshell or not so much of a nutshell. But now we are going to make a little smoothie. You know my smoothie that I have been loving. We're going to unpack some boxes. We're going to take the dog on a little walk and we're going to turn this day around. I love this eyeshadow. This is the Armani eye tint in the shade 20 and I'm blending it out with a Vive small eyeshadow blender this brush is so good the combo is just unreal and i take it like right up to my brow bone just to get a super seamless blend oh my god also i saw some stuff about the new american horror story this morning that has kim kardashian in it how many of you are opting out of this not for kim kardashian but because of the fact that it's about spiders because i actually i'm not like what is it arachnophobic like i am the person in our household that deals with the spiders but i don't know if i can watch that like on my own as well, because there's no way Ryan's watching that with me. Are you watching it? Are you going to watch it? Please let me know. I'm kind of like buzzing for it to come out, but I'm a little bit scared as well, because I don't want to have nightmares. But I am looking forward to autumn television massively. I started watching At Home with the Furies. I actually love Molly May. I really like the fact that although she's literally picked apart for, for everything, she still speaks in a way of not filtering herself for the fact that she knows she's going to be what she says can be picked apart. Whereas like I have spent years being really scared to like really say anything of note because I get so scared of like how someone will take that and just put a negative spin on it even though that's not what I meant or how I said it or my intention whatsoever and I have spent years just not talking like and I can tell when other YouTubers do it as well because I also do it so I can see when someone is like filtering themselves and it's why everyone loves 
a new content creator. It's not actually necessarily, sometimes it is the fact that they're a good content creator, but a lot of the time we love finding new content creators because they still speak normally. And I really love the fact that she still like is so unfiltered. I mean, in the TV show, it's definitely like I can really tell and they've been like, so can you talk a bit about this? I still really enjoy it just because I actually haven't watched any kind of reality TV apart from the Kardashians, but British reality TV in so long. So I'm really loving it. And Ryan's also really enjoying it because he loves a bit of reality TV. So that is our thing that we're enjoying watching at the moment, which is a stark contrast from what we just finished, which was beef, which was sensational. Like, if they don't win awards for that, that will be an absolute travesty because beef was unreal. I've I've never seen anything like it. It was so good. I also did think every time, every episode, I was like, surely this is the end. And then when I didn't want it to end, it ended. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, after I finished At Home with the Furies, I'm basically back to watching Emily in Paris just on repeat again. So if you have anything you, that you've been loving that sounds like any of my very all very different recommendations that I've just given. Let me know, because I think Ryan might scream if he sees Emily in Paris on the TV one more time. It's like, my, you know how people put friends on? Or I used to put Gilmore Girls on when I'm just like not doing anything and I just need to like zone out. Emily in Paris is the new Gilmore Girls. I love it, I'm obsessed. I actually might devote a whole ser- Oh God, got an eyelash. Oh no. Oh, even my eyelashes are turning on me. Anyway. There we go. Maybe that's the vibe of today, turning things back around. But anyway, Emily in Paris. I could dedicate like an entire podcast segment. Like I could probably do like a good six parter on Emily in Paris. I love it. I love it and I have thoughts. Side note, podcast will be coming back. It will resume at some point when my job is no longer Renault. Can't wait. I am obsessed with this blush. If I haven't talked about it enough already, the NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush in the shade Dolce Vita, just the best. I have actually bought some other colours to try out, but it's just this one is just my favourite. I'm kind of addicted to it, I don't really want to change it. And then the other makeup love of my life this summer. I don't. I actually don't think makeup would have stayed on my face without this. I didn't use it yesterday and I looked at my face halfway through the day and I was like, you are a state. I also like to spray a little bit onto my concealer brush and just well this always makes my eyes go funny but I like to tap it underneath my eyes and then around my nose just so we get a really good concentrated amount of that over where my concealer likes to kind of move around I always forget about this bit as well because otherwise I always get like a little bit liney here so it just helps to stop that and I love it So do you see what I mean about it's giving boy energy in here? The lamp is mine, if you remember. Don't you think? Boy energy, right? Like, why are there pillows on the floor? So we're gonna have some fun this afternoon or tomorrow. I don't know when, but we're gonna have some fun in here because these shelves, they need some spice, you know? Boy energy continued. Yes. Mm -hmm. This dining table. Boy energy. Brian's house is quite literally the antithesis. Apart from the fact that they're both painted white, this is quite literally the antithesis of my, wow, we're bright. It is the opposite end to my house that has so much stuff and everything is so soft and girly. <laughs> but I will give it to him. There is so little stuff in this house that I feel incredibly zen when I come here. So. Yeah, he is making me want to throw out all my things. Okay, phase two, here we go. Okay, all my things are unpacked. That was boring and tedious, but now we are moving on to the fun bit, which is adding some girl touches to Ryan's house, which I've been looking forward to doing for so long.
2,000 years later. Here we are. This was actually harder than I thought because they didn't have the plethora of stuff that I normally would style shelves with at home. I literally just bought a select few items and then I'm also trying to make them work with some of Ryan's things. So yeah, this was a little bit of a challenge, but nothing too bad. I definitely think if in doubt, if any of you are trying to like spice up your boyfriend or partner's house and it's very masculine and you want to add some feminine touches but without them going like crazy crystals in my experience works like a charm candles really help i don't know how the pink one's gonna fly but yeah i've just tried to make it really balanced in terms of like mixing darker colors with lighter colors and hopefully that's kind of like merging our two aesthetics really nicely so this is Kind of how it's turned out i'm happy with it as soon as i put flowers in here i was like yeah okay now this feels this feels done i also forgot to show you i gave the wardrobe a little tweak as well i just doubled up some bags so that i have more space for shoes and kind of made a display of some of the shoes as well and i'm really happy with this the only thing i'm missing and i do really want to bring from home is my stool from the bedroom i think it would slot under here so nicely and then when i do my makeup with you guys i can sit on the stool and sit here and have like a cute little backdrop. So that is the only thing I think I'm gonna tweak. That and my mirror coming here. But yeah, I think we're done. Good morning. Raise your hand if you are hungover. Happy bank holiday Monday. This morning, I can't decide if this was a fantastic idea or an absolutely terrible idea, but I actually have a hair appointment. I don't know why I actually need to get my hair colored less. Like I don't actually think I need it at the moment, but going anyway, because we love a hair wash, which I actually think is probably quite nice. I've just had like a shower and now I'm gonna get a hair wash and hopefully later on today, I'll be feeling so much fresher than I currently do. So I also need to go and check on the house. I've just got a few bits to check over. So I thought I'd give you a little house update. I need to grab a couple of things that classic me i have not thought about that i need and then i am coming home to lie on the sofa and make a mac and cheese <laughs> i can't wait honestly i'd still be in bed if it wasn't for this hair appointment so maybe the hair appointment is actually saving the day because it means you're getting some vlog footage today's outfit is just super comfy i was gonna wear my maxi skirt it's my blue one that i haven't worn since like spring i realized i didn't pack like a, it's a low rise well, on me it sits lower on the waist, so I don't have a long enough top to wear with it that looks cute. So I'm gonna grab a top whilst I'm at the house as well. But instead, I've just gone for my Zara linen trousers, Veja trainers. This top, I think, is from Topshop on ASOS. I don't know where these earrings are from. I keep wearing them in the vlogs and then go to link them in every info box, and I have absolutely no idea where they're from. And they've got some little pearls that you can add and or you can take away i honestly i don't know where they're from and then i'm gonna take my chanel 22 i've actually been getting more wear out of this recently and i'm really enjoying it so it's definitely one of those like transitional season type of bags i think yeah i've been wearing a lot more relaxed looks lately and it works really well with stuff like that as well so yeah that is my outfit of the day i've done a full face of makeup as well which is abnormal when i'm hungover but i just kind of felt like if i got out of the hairdressers and had a fresh blow dry i'd feel a bit like it was a waste if i then was like in sloth mode so i just was like you know what, we're gonna drag me out of my hungover state today and put on makeup and go get a blow dry and you know the whole shebang do my greys, toner. You guys know what a hair appointment entails anyway. Ignore the towel on the radiator, but I thought I'd give you a little home update. We have shoes missing, so let's ignore that. But in addition to the mirror that you just saw me vlogging in, we also have the new addition to the bedroom with my footstool. Look how perfectly it fits in that space. I just looked at that space and I was like, do you know what would fit beautifully in there? My footstool. So we've brought this from our bedroom at home for no reason other than the fact that it looks 10 out of 10 there rather than my kind of big overnight bag so yeah very happy with that really love how this is looking this is kind of making me rethink my walk-in wardrobe situation like i just i now need shelving for the bags which i didn't think i originally wanted we discussed me not having it and having drawers for the bags instead now i'm thinking i need it let me know what you think my favorite mirror from home has come well one of my favorite mirrors from home has come with me as well ryan and his brother brought this over the other day and i'm so happy about it because it's just so much nicer <laughs> than the mirror that was there before proper like lad pad mirror and this one's so much bigger this makes me realize how big the rooms in my house are because this mirror looks 
enormous in this room and when this is in a room at home it looks so tiny so I'm so confused I thought they brought a different mirror it just looks enormous in this space and in this room I'm confused anyway let's go get some swishy hair and see the house there's been quite a lot of progress I think since you last saw it which I'm we're at that stage now where I'm kind of like it's nice to like leave longer chunks in between because in the early stages like every day it looks different but now it's kind of like subtle things every day like plastering takes quite a while and stuff like that so there's actually been quite a fair bit of progress since i last showed you in the vlog so i'm gonna head over there now okay hair is done we are looking nice and fresh a little bit dark but it will wash out this is just how it kind of looks when my hair is freshly rooted and toned but it always lifts out just in time for start autumn and our holiday in a few weeks i'm so excited it was really good love having a fresh blow dry that i didn't have to do myself is life okay so quick little updates the bathroom has arrived i checked it yesterday and it is all good nothing's broken thankfully this is where we are at with the upstairs we have plastering how good is this not this room this room has not been plastered yet but everywhere else has been plastered the bathroom has also been plastered the tray is going in today which is so exciting yeah so hopefully this bathroom will start looking like a bathroom soon can't wait and then in here you can see this as well we're gonna have some storage and then more storage here yeah that is it that is the current update